Hello, everybody. I'm Chuck E. Cheese, and here's today's hard-hitting news. Oh, ow, ow. What's up, everyone? Super Auto Gaming here, and today we have a special one. You know I love my boy Rat. Well, not really, but... You know, there's so many cool different ways to play when there's a rat involved. And it's always funny destroying teams with a rat, especially a level 3 one. And what better way to do that than one of my favorite combos, rat and aardvark. So, there's a lot of new things that work with rat with these uh, new packs. So, I made a custom here, kind of based around the rat. And uh, thankfully, we get a very, very good start. Um, and it was all around really, really fun. So some of the new units that work especially well with Rat, I feel like, is Triceratops is a really, really big one uh, because of how many buffs it gives. You also have a Piranha, which is something I feel like not a lot of people expect. You you want your Piranha in front with like a Pepper or something, but Piranha can work. Uh, it gives, you know, wide buffs in that sense. But I feel like health, health is a very important uh, need for a build like this. And Aardvark just, you know, there's nothing better than it, I feel like, especially with so many summon builds being prevalent with Vulture, uh, all these Eagle Tapir and um, White Tiger nonsense. So it's very, very important, I feel like, to have Aardvark just in the pack situationally. Um, but all around, it's just really, really good. I'm honestly surprised they had buffed it even because it was slightly weaker. And I feel like, I don't know, they were just like, you know, we want to counter uh, summon teams a little bit harder. So they, they made the change where Aardvark gets a little bit more health, which I think is absolutely nutty. So... But I mean, uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I hardly play summon builds. So this is crazy too how early we're going to get a level 3 rat. This this rat really pulls through. Uh, we got to make them as big as possible too. There's the small rat play and there's the big rat play. And uh, big rat is always really, really funny. Uh, and we are trying to hold out for this level 3 fish. But, you know, you can only wait for so long. So a couple of the old ways that rat used to be used was, uh, as you can see, that guy had a camel kangaroo. That was one of the big ways in standard because camel, um, you know, every time it gets injured, it uh, buffs the unit behind it. And whenever camel attacks or the unit in front of kangaroo attacks, then kangaroo gets buffed. So kangaroo would get like double buffed. So... It worked decently well that way, and now I'm sure it works even better with Camel being buffed, because Camel's just insane. I mean, if you saw my last video, it was uh, that Mega Milker Camel. I mean, there's there ain't no stopping that. Um, however, Aardvark, it just, I don't know, it just flows better. You know, you don't have to actually, you know, get hurt or anything. Just anything that spawns on their side, he gets bigger immediately. And uh, you can see in a lot of these games, we we go up against a lot of Vulture players. And of course, they're going to have a lot of summons. And they cannot do anything against Aardvark. Like, absolutely ridiculous. And I don't even think I get a level 3. The level 2 is is enough. It gets like plus 4, plus 6 every time um, the unit on the enemy team gets spawned. Like, that's incredible. Um, and then the, the cherry on top of the... I want to say the cherry, isn't it? No, the icing on the cake. The cherry, what was I thinking? The cherry on the pie? I don't know. Uh, the icing on the cake is lemon. I People be sleeping on lemon, I, I think. I think lemon is absolutely insane. Might be better than melon even. Um, because especially with the bigger your units are, lemon is just always better. So if you have a melon and you go up against a 50-50... They basically trade even. So your lemon would, um, of course, deal four damage less. So if a 50-50 hits you, you know, you'd only get hit for 46. So you have four, four health left. And that's totally fine because then when they hit again, they trade. However, if you're going against summon teams, then lemon is just always better. So I think with the introduction to lemon and it being at a tier five, you can get it sooner. I think lemon is just better. It's 
if the unit is really big. Now, if the unit is small, then probably go with Pepper. Um, and then I think like a mid-sized unit, probably between 30 and 40, Melon is totally fine. Well, honestly, between 20 and 40, Melon is really, really okay. Still super strong. Um, but of course, there's like, it's so nice to be able to have like different niches and different foods that work um, good for different situations. And lemon adds a lot to that. I like it being a super garlic, you know, um, kind of makes garlic feel bad because you're like, well, I'm, I'm just going to wait till I get lemon. You know, I don't really need garlic. So you just don't add it to the pack. <laughs> uh, that way you can have like lollipop or salad or cucumber, whatever the other ones are. Um, but if you've been noticing, we have been absolutely popping off. I haven't, like, I've just been ranting, I feel like. Um, getting our level 2 penguin with every, all of our boys up to level 2, this is, like, the perfect scenario. So Poodle buffs everything perfectly. I almost sell Poodle here, but I'm like, wait a second. Poodle actually buffs four things, as uh, Penguin will not only buff three. So I was like, forget that, I'm just gonna freeze that bad boy. Um, but now with everything being level two, this is like the perfect storm and it's turn 11. I feel like we're insanely strong for turn 11. Like, look at this guy. And even with one summon, like they don't stand a chance. Aardvark with lemon just takes out everything. So absolutely beautiful to have it. Yeah. I love Aardvark so much. Probably one of my most favorite pets that they have. So Aardvark, Emperor Tamarin. Yeah, definitely have to be those two. Um, but yes, we are coming here to the last little bit. I definitely want to get Melon on my rat. I don't want it to get one tapped by anything. And then I will throw Lemon onto my Triceratops because, I mean, we've been seeing a lot of summon teams. Um, yeah, and this guy doesn't stand a chance. Just every, every time you summon one more thing, man, uh, I'll be there. My Aardvark will be there. And at 48, like you can see, even a 4850 trades with that one unit and a 50-50. Absolutely ridiculous. So don't sleep on Lemon. Don't sleep on Rat. And definitely don't sleep on Aardvark. Because um, there's a new build on the block. And this, this definitely works out. And we're going to do a cheeky little Cell Poodle for Tiger here. And put it behind Triceratops so it will trigger twice whenever it gets hit. Very nice touch. Because I don't think we need the extra one attack. And what better way to end this off than by destroying the Summon Build King himself. Oh, absolutely beautiful. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked, then like and subscribe. And you know what? Have a fantastic day.